Good morning. It's really early in the morning. It's about 5 a.m. Really dark in here, so I thought I would light up the Christmas tree. Maybe that would help give us a little bit of light on the subject today. I'm finding in meditation that my relationship with myself and my mind is is evolving quite quickly and that I can go to different places. Actually had an analogy developed this morning in meditation about the mind being a library. And it is. It's been a library for me and I'm through meditation I'm seeing that everything in my mind is it's just a book it's a story that was written and you know it's dark and dungy in that library and there's so many stories there and some I wrote and some other people wrote and now that I see it's a library I can use it as such and when I need to pick up an old story for whatever reason say I need some to touch a place somebody else is so that I can relate to them in a way that they feel understood and supported and can hear what I have to say to help them put down that book and I'm seeing that the books in my library are they're just books now I don't touch a book, you know, when you touch a memory, you feel it all over again and you re-experience it and, well, there were times, a lot of times in the last 10, 15 years of my life that I could just be walking through, just barely touching the, the, the binding of the back of the book and just feel overwhelmed and just like in that emotion all over again, that story just trapped there. And I'm seeing now that it's a library. And I've actually added some books to the library written by other authors that really help me when I feel like the door of the library is locked and I can't get out. But through meditation, I'm finding that the door isn't locked and it's been locked my whole life. And I'm stepping outside of the library and I'm seeing that there's these big, beautiful, halls and other rooms and other places to be in life and I really feel like I'm getting really close to leaving the building completely and finding all the other buildings that are outside but coming out of the library of the mind took some time I didn't even realize it was a library that was just full of stories and it's a really freeing place to be to just know that they're just stories and I can read them when I want and I can put them down when I don't and they don't define me they aren't my experience you know when you read a really good book and I've had a few of those where they're so good I'm reading them at red lights you know What's going Well, I was caught up in my own stories like that. Really caught up in my own stories and what they meant. And, you know, if people couldn't behave inside of my stories the way my stories were written, they weren't supposed to be in my life. And I don't feel that way anymore. I remember a, um, watching, a, actually hearing, because I was still in the days of audio tape, before we were making all these little videos and sharing them everywhere. Um, of Marianne Williamson talking about a woman trying to teach her man how to treat her and things to say and things to not say so that she wasn't triggered. And she was telling the story of this woman telling the man you will be available to me whenever I need you to be available to me and you know some of the examples of his availability to her from the woman were absolutely ridiculous 
But there was a part of me that was listening that was like, yeah, I totally get what she's saying. Like, he's got to be there for her. Or she's going to feel abandoned and then she's not going to feel loved. And then she's just going to live her life from this injured place. Well, Marianne Williamson came back with what the guy said. And he said, no, I won't do those things for you. I am not your father. I did not abandon you and I won't keep that story alive. And I didn't get that for the longest time and I'm getting it now. Like that story keeps popping in my head of, yeah, yeah. He's not keeping her story alive. He's not allowing her to be a victim of it anymore. And that's what we do. We try to teach the people around us to not, don't, don't open that book. You don't want to read that book. It's you that doesn't want to read that book. You are living from that place. Get out of the library of your mind and experience life and just know there are going to be dark moments and the darker it gets, the lighter it'll be when the light comes on. You know, a rainbow is made up of a storm and light. Rain and light at the same time create beautiful colors in a rainbow. So just know that your mind is a library and you're reading stories and you can put down those stories and get new books or just leave the library of your mind. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. We're getting a lot closer to Christmas. I'm super excited about it, but I'm not in the library. I'm experiencing the outside of the library right now. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you like what I said here, make sure that you share it on social media so other people can get the message. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.